Unlocking English. The meaning of in prison. Hello, language explorers. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the vast ocean of the English language. Today, we're zeroing in on a phrase that often crops up in news, stories, and sometimes in everyday conversation, in prison. Stay with us as we unravel what it means, how it's used, and the nuances that come with it. Whether you're learning English or just curious, we've got some interesting insights for you. When we say someone is in prison, we're referring to the physical state of being confined in a penal institution. It's a place where people are legally held as a punishment for crimes they have been convicted of. It's important to distinguish in prison from in jail, as in some regions, jail is used for short-term confinement, while prison is for longer-term sentences. Beyond the literal walls, in prison can also be used metaphorically. We say someone is in prison when they are trapped in a situation, condition, or even a mindset from which they feel they cannot escape. For example, he is in prison in his own mind, shows us that the person feels mentally trapped, not physically. Let's explore some common expressions and collocations where this phrase is used. Sent to prison, a judge has ordered someone to spend time in a prison. Released from prison, when a prisoner has completed their sentence and is free to go. Life in prison, a type of sentence where the individual is to remain in prison for the rest of their life. The phrase can have different connotations depending on the cultural context. In some societies, being in prison carries a heavy social stigma, affecting not only the individual but their family. In other contexts, there may be a discussion around the conditions within prisons, the justice system, or rehabilitation. And that's a wrap on in prison. Whether it's the straightforward meaning of being confined for a crime or the metaphorical sense of being trapped, this phrase has significant weight in English. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and adds a new layer to your understanding of English phrases. Keep practicing, stay curious, and we'll see you in our next video. Happy learning, everyone!